Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to a week where I will be featuring Avriel. So today I will be using this adorable stamp set that is called Tweet Tweet and it comes with matching dies. Now this week I will be posting uh, three videos, that's on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and there is a giveaway that is running on my blog so make sure to join the, my blog and enter your name for a chance to win one uh, adorable stamp set by Avriel. So first of all I am going to stamp uh, three images from this uh, stamp set. So I am going with the branch, with uh, one of the birdies and with the uh, bird stand. Now this bird stand has a bird, a little bird in the set that uh, can fit right inside it. But I decided to go with another birdie which is uh, slightly taller but it's just adorable. So I am going to stamp all my images and then I will be using my Prismacolor pencils to color everything. As always, you can find a full list of supplies just below the video, in the description area on YouTube or on my blog. This is my Prismacolor pencil set. I have the set of uh, the 72 pencils and uh, you can see I'm just doing simple coloring. I am uh, uh, using uh, two or three shades of the same color to add uh, some uh, dimension by shading the birdie. And sometimes you might have seen me using my Prismacolor pencils and blend them out at the end using Gamsol. But this time I'm keeping everything very simple. After all, these images are very thin, very small, so there is no need for blending. Prismacolor pencils are very easy to apply. They go smoothly on the paper and you get a rich and very vibrant color. So they are definitely one of my favorite and easy ways to color my images. I am going to put on some music and uh, catch you up once everything is colored. Now that everything is colored, it's time to use my dies to cut out the images. So I will be using uh, my tool there to cut out the dies that I need. And this is the point where I decided that I didn't want that bird uh, stand to be black. So I changed my mind and you will see that uh, later on I am going to stamp the bird stand again. But uh, this time I will be using uh, yellow ink. Now that everything is ready, I am going to cut uh, my images using my C6 machine. So I have my die cuts ready and uh, the card that I will be making today is going to be a shaker card. So I will uh, move on. Here are all the three die cuts that I have now. I, just, I think that they are just adorable. And now I can move on and create the panel for my shaker card. So for the panel, I have combined two dies, one uh, round one and a rectangular one. So I have placed one inside the other and I am going to end up with a frame. 
the circle at the middle is going to be the window for my shaker card. I have a piece of acetate here which I have already cut down to size and uh, I will be using my tape adhesive so I'm adding a uh, lot of adhesive at the back all around the window and then I am going to stick my acetate on top so I have my window ready Now I am going to stamp the sentiment and I am doing that now because uh, this uh, panel is going to be quite bulky and uh, usually when I forget to stamp at uh, the beginning then I don't get a good impression. I decided to stamp with a uh, bluish uh, uh, ink just because I didn't want to have a black uh, and a very vibrant uh, sentiment there. I have my big uh, roll of uh, foam tape and I will be using it to create a wall all around that window and this uh, is going to make sure that uh, all the sequence that I will be adding later on will not uh, go anywhere and they won't uh, fall out of the card. And uh, now I am creating the backing uh, panel for my shaker card so I am just coloring everything with peacock feathers just apply the color there, it doesn't have to be perfect. After all, uh, lots of uh, things are going to be on top. So after I have my panel ready, I am going to add my sequence inside my window and uh, then uh, peel off all the tape adhesive and stick uh, the bluish uh, panel on top. I really am addicted to shaker cards lately and I just love how fun they are to make and they always bring a smile to the recipient. So now I'm sticking down the backing panel and my window is pretty much ready. If you double up on tape adhesive then all the little bits inside the window will move uh, even uh, more. But uh, for this uh, card I didn't want that. I do that in other cards. In this one I wanted my bits and pieces inside the window to be kind of uh, trapped there so they don't all fall down. So now it's time to assemble everything on top. I have used my tape runner at the back of the branch as well as uh, at the back of the bird stand but uh, I will be sticking down the birdie with uh, foam squares. This will uh, make sure that uh, the birdie comes more to life as it pops up and uh, you know I love dimension on my cards. This bird from uh, that uh, stamp set is just adorable and I uh, don't know if you have already noticed but I have used the order of the rainbow to color his body as well as all the little parts on his beak. The sentiment that I have uh, already stamped says a little birdie told me it's your birthday so I think it's, uh, it's such an adorable birthday card for both uh, a boy or a girl. Now that my window panel is ready, I am going to stick it down on a card base. The card base that I'm using is uh, made out of uh, yellow cardstock and uh, that's a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. As a finishing touch, I am using my clear Wink of Sella glitter pen over his uh, peak and uh, I am going to cover it all up with uh, glossy accents. I just love the effect of glossy accents over uh, Wink of Stella. So this uh, will uh, finish the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to join me on Wednesday with another video featuring Avery. Thank you all for watching.